How to become a security guard supervisor. Hey guys, welcome to Advancing Security, your source for security guard pro tips and content. It's your boy Jay Gutierrez. And in this video, we're gonna discuss how to become a security guard supervisor with my three to four step system. This video is good for those guards out there that want to take the job to the next level. You want to become a supervisor, obviously, and you want to know what it takes, how to get there. You want to have a battle plan. And it's good for those that are already in high level position in security. I want to know what are the characteristics, you know, of a good supervisor. You know, how long should it have been working for you at the company? And, you know, it's going to pretty much help you, like, how to pick them out of your crowd of employees. Because supervisor is a very important position. You're between entry level and advanced level employees and it could make or break a lot of companies believe it or not for those of you that are not aware so let's get into this number one you need to understand this is not a short-term goal being a supervisor nine times out of ten is a long-term goal and you have to sometimes think things in seasons you know at the very least four months i've seen somebody becoming a supervisor that's in the very lucky lucky opportunities kind of situation where opportunity meets preparation you know what i mean like they always answered the phone they were always professional and they, the opportunity came like you want to be a supervisor they were like yes i'm ready sir Boom, and they got the position however for everybody else like i said that was that's only one time out of ten that person is lucky for everybody else the vast majority 90 percent of us are gonna have to have a plan you're going to have to put the time in and you're going to have to have the skills, right? Now, what do I mean by time? You need to understand in security, and by the way, we're still in phase one, time, right? Uh, retention. You need to understand turnover rate right? and retention. Retention is you keeping your employee. Turnover rate is pretty much, you know, you got a revolving door of people coming in and out as employees, right? So the turnover rate with security is anywhere between four months to nine months, and depending on how much they're earning, if they're earning, you know, the low 20s, it could take up to a year, right? Um, why is that? It is because some people are unsatisfied. Some people, you know, they have to move. Their life has changed, so they have to leave. Other people, they, they last a while and they're doing their job in a mediocre fashion and then the company lets them go. And if you do not cross that border of time frame within your company, you're not going to be seen as a double G, as a good guard yet, even if you have the experience. Why is that? It's because the whole thing about security is relationships, is trust. And if you have yet to surpass the average time frame of the average guard, for them, you're just an okay guard. You show up on time, you look the part, and that's it. That's it. And one of the first thing they look for is have you been in the company long enough once you have then they start saying like hey i think that's a good guard they think that you're a good guard you are probably the best at what you do but they think you're a good guard and why do they only think that you're a good guard is because of the time now your skills your customer service, your de-escalation, the fact you're not calling management 24 7 for every little thing and the fact you own that post that job and you, and you understand relationship is what's gonna make them know like, hey, this person just doesn't, they didn't just put in the time. They also have the skills that pay the bills. This person I think is a good candidate to become a supervisor within this company. This person is not asking us questions. As a matter of fact, we ask them questions all the time and this individual have all the answers over that post. Once you get that level of notoriety, that level of respect, you know, the recognition, then you can start asking about supervisor positions and you can start going into phase two but until you master phase one time management and understanding that it takes time also to gain a certain level of skills and relationships uh you cannot get to phase two what is phase two phase two is you asking the questions you're asking the questions online and with your company like you ask your supervisor and management how did you get to your position you start Googling, you start going on Indeed and, and ZipRecruiter, and you start looking up security guard supervisor jobs. You start looking at the requirements these company wants based on what you, you know, you're being told by your company in the interviews. And they're not really interviews, that's just you making conversations, but you're creating a bond, you're, you're creating a team, right? While you're talking to them about that, right? 
based on what they say, based on what the people say online on their posts, on their ads, you're going to see like, huh, I'm on the right track where I check all these boxes or there's some boxes I'm missing that I check off little by little. And you have a better idea of what it takes to be a supervisor, not just in your team, in your company, but in security in general. And I think that's the most important part, the research part, the asking the questions, because you need to know where you are in the whole security guard spectrum, right? Are you a warm body? Are you an okay guard? Are you seen as a true professional? Are you an elite guard? You need to ask these questions so you know how to maneuver correctly. And while you're asking these questions with the company, they start taking it a little bit more seriously. Because remember, you already put you already put in the time. You already recognize you got the skills. And they're like, yo, I think Huang or Jasmine, you know, they're a possible candidate for the future. And they're gonna they're gonna keep their eye on you as long as you don't mess up, right? You gotta do your best to not mess up. And if you're in a site where the average guard takes nine months to quit or get fired. You won't start getting recognized until like month 10 probably. And then between month 10 and month like 12 or 13, they're gonna start looking at how you, your behaviors and your characteristics. And then once you start asking the questions, they're gonna say, hey, next opportunity we have, we wanna put your name in the hat. Now, we're gonna go into phase three in my four, three to four step system, right? This is the waiting game now, the waiting game. Um, so this, this is still kind of like mastering uh, time management, like your phase one. Um, however, this is different now because you already got the skills, you got you got the time, you got the recognition, you got the you, you got the bond between you and management. Now that doesn't guarantee that you're going to be given the supervisor position, just so you know, because they might say Stephanie is such a good employee, we do not want to lose her and put her in this position. Because that post makes us X amount of money. And the client's not going to want to let go of that, that person. So they might interview one person for the security guard supervisor position. And they might get it. They might not even interview you. They, they might say it's not the time yet. They might go and give that position to three other people before they even give you an interview yet. Why is that? Number one, they do not want, many. sometimes they don't want to lose you. They don't want to lose the client because they rely, the client relies so much on you. And like I said before in this video, a lot about security is trust. And put somebody in that valuable position, it, it, it can hurt the contract they have. And, you know, I've been in job sites where the person has been turned over four times. Like they just... They might have even gotten the interview once or twice for the, for a management position. However, they hired other people. And then they had to hire somebody else. They had to hire somebody else. And it just didn't work out to them where they had to say, okay, we need John in this position. We need John to train somebody um, where he's currently at that could do like at least the same level of work as him or close to it. And then we need to put him here because he's putting the time. We don't want to lose John. And... Um, at this point, we're going to lose an employee and we're losing money, giving this opportunity to other people that are just jokers. Keep that in mind. And this is the truth. Now, let's say they've posted the job a couple of times. Let's say you've been after this 15 months to two years for a management position. An entry level management is just supervisor. Some places call it lead or whatever, right? And then you say, hey, man. I'm losing being here. I'm not learning anything anymore. I'm not networking anymore because I already know everybody. I'm not making any more money. Like, what can I do to stay here? That's when you, you got to get creative. This is where I get into the phase four of this video. If I'm in the right sequence here. Um, you ask for a better shift or more money or you're going to leave. And while all of this is happening, you're already looking for another position because your mission is supervisor you just don't want to be entry level for the rest of your life because again you want to reach management level and possibly be an owner operator that's why i said it's three to four phases in this in this video all right you got to have that what if you got to have that plan b and you you know you need to be realistic about these goals these are long-term goals these are for people that want to you know have security as their career so you got to be realistic sometimes you got to let go of the position all right guys because your mission is supervisor and if you already have the skills you have the time you have the court you have the synchronicity with the team building you have all that stuff and the opportunity is not coming up you got to go 
you gotta go. You just can't keep waiting, wait, waiting for that wedding ring. You know what I'm saying? You gotta let go of that partner. So that's it. And that's that, guys. Take care. So love yourself. If you found value in this video, press like. Leave a comment down below saying thank you and gracia. And you know, if you appreciate this channel, you know, see a couple more of my videos. <laughs> Ciao, lo quiero mucho.